Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Al-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki yaumadim, Yaakna abudwa, Yaakna astahim, Edena sa sarta ala mustaqim, sarta ala dina nafta alayhim, Qayru makhdubi alayhim. Greetings. Allah has sent me with the destruction and the salvation. My name and title is Imam Mahdi. Today we're going to talk about the destruction of the United States of America and why. Not just the United States of America, but the world. Because people has gone against the God who created them. And this God is bringing about this destruction on a rational, spiritual, academic, religious, political, and a modern society level. Meaning, rationally, we are not the same people. All people are not alike, rationally speaking and irrationally speaking. Spiritually, some people come from paradise and some people come from hell. Those who came from paradise, they may return to paradise or they may go to hell. But those who came from hell will return to hell. Academically, they have lied and changed his revelation with the exception of Al-Quran. And that's why I have this book here now. And that's why it's taking me so long to get back with you guys. This book right here, Al-Jihad, The Holy War Struggle, this book right here is the most powerful book that ever been written in the United States of America. This book is available for everyone. If you can distinguish right from wrong, then this book can bring some salvation to you. The correct way. It opens your mind and discernment to anything that you're faced with. Religiously, Allah has only sanctioned one religion to himself. And that religion is Islam. All other religions are Satan. I say it again. Allah has only sanctioned one religion to himself. And that religion is Islam. And all other religions are from Satan. Politically, I'm campaigning for the 2024 presidency. And you may be saying to yourself, with the day being September 24, 2024, you're on two days, two months before election, how are you going to win and you don't have the money and nor the means to set up all the registration in such a short period of time? Well, unfortunately for the United States people and citizens, many more of you may die. Because you got to remember politically, during Trump's first year of becoming president, he talked about what he was going to do to China. And China dropped that COVID on the world, killing over 400,000 Americans, whether it was intentionally or unintentionally. It came from China and it killed over 400,000 U.S. citizens. And Trump then rebuttal any of the situation but saying I'm gonna pay them back now he's quiet about that situation now because deep down the United States of America is in trouble and then you have Kamala Harris who is not her parents is not American but yet she's running in the black community all around the United States saying how she's gonna be president just like Barack Obama, they disrespect the black community. But when you, Allah speaks about those who are niggardly in the Quran, the niggardly inviting others to be niggardly. So when you are amongst so-called the black culture, their culture, no part of their culture can help their people because they have not accepted God. Any person that is a, a Christian, a black Christian, you don't have, you don't have salvation with God. 
But I'll get back to that later. So rational and spiritual academic religious politically is the model society. That's what this book is about. This book right here. America, the United States of America has never been a model society. It has been a necessary evil from God. You had to see who you are. You had to see the devil. Not only in others, but in yourself. That's what this United States of America is about. People from all over the world, from every nation is here. People done, turn it, turn, done betrayed their own country just to come here. Turning their own leaders, have their own leaders killed just to come here. This is the worst nation that ever existed in the history of creation. With the exception of me being here, everybody will be doomed to the hell fire. And this is the only salvation that you'll get through this book. Because this book right here, Al Jihad, the Holy War Struggle, it not only going to teach you all about the absolute, the uncreated Allah, but it's going to teach you about all that He created. You understand? And it's going to teach you about your behaviors. The charts I have here, the charts are in the book. The science I have here, the science are in the book. Without this book, you can't even enter paradise because you don't have the knowledge to get on the path to get to paradise. And I say this as a model society, this is where we must go. So you said, well, what qualify me to present what I'm inviting you to today? Well, I came from paradise. And since I've been here, coming out my mother's womb, I've been back over a thousand times. I've been to hell over a thousand times. If anybody gonna write about heaven and hell, I'm the only one on planet Earth who qualified to do such. I'm the only one who qualified to document it and to make it to become an a academic, a peer review, scholastic research information. So that's what qualified me. Of course, I have a master's in film producing. I'm acting with master in international communication. As soon as I finish that situation, I'm going on to get my doctor in um, global, something global. And not that I need it, but I get it and receive it and strive for it and achieve it because when I deal with people, I communicate with people, I like to meet them on the level that they're on. Because that way we can work together to resolve situations in their community. Not for me, it's for their arrogance, their pride. Now, let's get into the irrational. As I said, the rational, people are not alike. You got the beast from mankind and human. That's it. The beast from mankind and human. We are not alike. Right here, I know you can't see it, but it's in the book. Whatever I'm saying to you, you can order the book. You go to uh, my website, which is www.i19-1mahdi.com. In other words, www.i19-1mahdi.com. And if you want to order the book, uh, send in a donation, you go to send a gift to Imam Mahdi. I M A M last name M A H D I P O Box 996 Chiral, South Carolina 29520. But we are not alike. You got the beast of mankind and human. Right here. We are not alike. You got the beastman, you got the illogical beast out of the incest, filthy, animal. Homosexual, bisexual, and transsexual, and that is the beast, the beastman, the beastman. And you, when I say the beastman, you got people having sex with animals and all kind of stuff. You got people who calling it, you know, you have the uh, those who came out of the cave of Europe, the Caucasus Mountain, and they want to say, hey, and that was over six thousand years ago. And you're dealing with uh, the reptilians, you're dealing with the hybrids, you're dealing with a lot of situations that you walk in amongst that 
we are not alike. And then you have mankind. Mankind, that means he's kind of a man. He's not a man. You got the pride, greed, lust, anger, oversupply, envy, and laziness. That's mankind. Then you have humans. A human is a, a person who says he's on the right path, but he really he's, he's the ones that I just named of the beast from the mankind. And then you have man. Man, he's a battle of truth, justice, peace, freedom, love, joy, unity, and success. And when you said true, what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. So, speaking on a person level of, of people, you have to be some mankind, human, and man. We are not alike. So, I invite, but if one don't, is choose not to come, it doesn't, I don't lose any sleep. Because we are not alike. It's us versus them. It's God's law versus man's law. It's hell or you going to... Uh, uh, are you going to heaven? That's it. But you got scholars who try to uh, disregard God and, and they say there is no God and then they go back in the history and then they talk about some other being like uh, uh, Anunnaki and then they would try to call them God. I thought you said there was no God. But see, these people are tricking you into Satanism. That's why I'm here. They give you the truth. This book right here, as I said, as Jihad, the Holy War, struggle. If you have a child uh, uh, for yourself, anybody, this is the book you need. This is the book you need. You understand? Then, after the, the rational or the irrational, you got the spiritual. As I said, either you came from paradise or you came from hell. This is the transitory life. And many of this you're going to find in my book. So I'm just going to go through it to help you understand we are in dangerous times. You understand? So I'm campaigning for presidency, but I know, and you know, but Allah is the most powerful, even though Allah gives me commands to do certain things. If he decreed for me to be president, then there's nothing that can stop it. But if... I'm not president, I'm saying to whoever is president, you better take heed to what I'm saying to you today. You understand? Take heed. Follow my book, follow my direction, because it will bring salvation not only to you, but to the people in this country. You understand? And um, so the rest of the spiritual, the academic, and when I say academic, I have my scholastic knowledge from where I've been, but at the same time, what the spirits Allah gave me, you have to come to me to get that. I'm the one with that academic information. And that's why I invite you. So you, the rest of the spirit academic is knowledge. Knowledge to understand, to move. You know what I'm saying? The influences, the information, the attitude, the persuasion of information. To help people. And some people use that to, uh, to degrade people. Or to destroy people negatively. And to invite them to all kinds of evil. I invite you to righteousness. Not the evil. I may talk about evil to, so that you can um, hopefully you take heed to what I'm saying. So that you can avoid the hellfire. And avoid the extreme oppression on earth. To make earth a better place to live. So with that rest of spiritual academic. Um. You get into the religion. As I said, I only sanction one religion to himself, and that religion is Islam. It's Islam. And, and, and with me being a believing Muslim, the Muslims, so-called Muslims here who practice Islam, they are polytheists. Polytheists mean you are associated partner with Allah. I have went into certain masjids, and, uh, and, and just and when you call it a dawn, uh, that's you call it a dawn, you know, you call it a you call them the people to prayer, and then you call them, and you call them the angels to come, and then you call it the common. That means everybody, the angels are there, you ready, and everybody else ready to make salah. But in that Adan, stop off what I got to say. They say, uh, 
wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulullah uh, uh, and, and that's associated putting muhammad as a partner with allah that is not in the quran and that's 99 percent of the muslims that's in the united states that is the Saudi flag la ilaha illa allah muhammad abduhu wa rasulullah that's how they say it and that same flag is in saudi arabia anybody who follows that flag is in politics falls into a state of uh, polytheism and saudi arabia was started by the british and all that was started in 1911 got its chapter. So that is a new country. You understand? They had to destroy the Ottoman Empire and all this and that. And you must understand, if you fall in that flag, you'll fall in Satan. And 99%. And when you take people out of the worship of the one that's a worship of Allah, which that is, because when I give Shahada, I give this right here, I said, Allah, la ilah, ila, hu ahi al You understand? Allah, there is no God but He, the everlasting, the self sufficient by whom all subsist. Understand? Uh, either I give him this right here. Why can't be Allah? He shall hear them. That's a period right there. Muhammad Rasulullah. That's in the Quran. But the one that they give, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Abdul Rasulullah, that's not in the Quran. So, with that being said, all of the Muslims are terrorists in the United States. Anytime you take someone out of the worship of the oneness of Allah and put a partner with, these are the worst terrorists. They're worse than the terrorists you wear when you can find them. So this is why my presence is so important. You think you, uh, especially uh, people in the black community, they think they're leaving, uh, leaving the white man for being a slave, then they go slave to be slave to the Arabs. And they wind up worshiping uh, Muhammad. So this again, my presidency changes all that. Because that will not be tolerated. And my president, I run as an authoritarian. Because only Allah, law, is the law. And what is not right by the United States Constitution will be abolished, uh, uh, done away with. And what is right about it, based upon the Quran, then it stays. Well, one thing, the first thing will go, is the 14th Amendment Section 4. This is what made black people slaves in the United States. These are the worst people who are afraid to get their freedom. And Kamala Harris running for president and they, she's not making this an issue in the black community. This is betraying the black community. This is the worst criminal she is. And Allah, I mean, Allah has revealed and shown and decreed on what this devil has done in this constitution. And it says, the validity of the public debt of the United States unauthor unauthorized by the law including debts incurred for payment of pensions and bounties for services and suppressing insurrection or pay any debt or obligations no stop the law rebellion shall not be questioned but neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in the aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States or any claim or for the loss or emancipation of any slave but all such debt obligation and claims shall be held illegal and void. It is said or emancipation. Emancipation means to set free but it said, emancipation of any slave. That means the descendants of slave to slave shall not be set free. It is, it is held illegal and void. But I ain't gonna continue with that because there's other things going to. Uh, my point to you is that when you betray a race, and when I say about the religion, and there's only one religion that Allah sent to itself, and that is Islam. And you got Muslim uh, uh, people who call themselves the Israelite, they're going, they're, uh, all the black people, they're Israelites. No, you can't be an Israelite if you're not a believing Muslim. All the prophets was believing Muslims. All of them bow down. And one preacher by the name of Genesis, said, Islam is not mentioned in the Quran. Islam is, mentioned, Islam is not mentioned in the Bible. Islam is mentioned in the Quran and in, in the Bible, in, in various uh, um, books. But it's mentioned as they put their, their hands their knees and their faces on the ground and bow to God, the God who is our law. That is Islam. They bow their faces. And then it goes with all the prophets from Abraham to Jacob, who is uh, Yaqub. You understand? 